Dear brothers and sisters, most welcome to the Chapel of the Apostolic Nunciature in Wimbledon. As an invitation of aid to charity in need, for which I thank cordially. Today, I want to pray for persecuted Christians throughout the world. We offer this holy hour in front of the Blessed Sacrament for our brothers and sisters throughout the world, who even today, even now, even when we are praying, are suffering and dying for the faith. We ask that the Lord may give them strength and courage, and we ask that the Lord will hear our cry on their behalf. They devoured the flesh of their own brothers and sisters. 
Manasseh devoured Ephraim, and Ephraim devoured Manasseh, and together they fought against Judah. For all this, his anger has not turned away, his hand is stretched out still. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Dear brothers and sisters, we come to pray for those Christian who are persecuted today, but in a particular way for those who have been killed by other Christians. Great Britain knows very well what this means. How much blood was shed in this country? And how much blood has been shed in other European countries, apparently out of different interpretations of God, the Gospel, the Church. Today Christians continue to kill other Christians, but political enmities are clearly at the forefront. Religious oppositions are now openly instrumental but still they are used for division, each side blessing the weapons to be used against the other. It is difficult to speak of this subject. Often it is not politically correct. We cover this disruptive role of religion with a veil of shame, but we still can't go beyond religious divisions among Christians. St. Augustine describes in a frightening manner these words among Christians and exhorts everybody to a deep conversion. I quote, Whether they like it or not, they are our brothers. And they will only cease to be our brothers if they cease to say our father. Yes, it is only when we reject the very source of our union, only when we reject our Christian faith, that we cease to recognize God as our common Father. But as long as we pray to the Father, no division can be justified. We thought we were devoured by the zeal for the house of God. And as the reading says, we were never satisfied with the slaughter of our brothers. And yet God gave his son for our common salvation. We became a whole body, and that is the body of Christ, the church. Dismembering the body of Christ was our great blasphemy. We did it physically, by killing our brothers and sisters and being killed by them. We do it again, maybe not physically, but with, with no less cruel hatred and contempt. All this can only be healed by forgiveness and repentance. By a supplement of love that sometimes seems totally unreasonable. Let us hear again St. Augustine. They may say, why do you seek us out? Why do you want us? Let our reply be, you are our brothers. They may say, go away. We have no concern with you. We certainly have concern with you. We shall answer. We confess one Christ. We ought to be joined in a single body under one head. 
Central Gospel shows that the only possible answer of the Christian is. They celebrate the same sacraments, though not with us, but still the same. They reply with the same Amen, though not with us, but it is still the same. Pour out all your love to God on their bow. Saint Irenaeus, a gigantic figure of a bishop of the second century, writes words that seem to have been written yesterday. I quote, as the sun, which is God's creature, is the same throughout the whole world. So the preaching of the truth shines in all places and enlightens all men who wish to come to the knowledge of the truth. The man who is an eloquent speaker among the leaders of the churches will not preach anything different from this. Nor will a less eloquent man diminish the tradition, since faith is one and the same. The man who has much to say about it does not add to it, and the man who has less does not subtract from it. But if this is the truth, why are there such fights and wars? Let us listen to the cry of another great saint, Gregory Nazanzen. Quote, How can I bear this holy war? For there has been said to be a holy as, as well as a barbarian war. How shall I unite and join together the hostile occupants of seas and the style pastors and the people broken up along with and opposed to them. And besides, the very quarters of the globe are affected by the spirit of faction, so that east and west are arrayed on opposite sides, and be fair to be severed in opinion to less than in, in opinion no less than in position. How long are parties to be Mine and yours, the old and the new, the more rational and the more spiritual, the more noble and the more ignoble, the more and the less numerous. I am ashamed of my old age, when after being saved by Christ, I am called by the name of others. So, brothers and sisters, today we pray for those whom we could call today the martyrs of ecumenism, of opposition within the church, of parties and factions, of different nations, however, all Christians. First of all, for the very victims, for those whom the church has recognized as saints, and for the multitude of those whose names are known only by God. Let us pray for those who are even today moral martyrs of the spirit of aggression and suspicion that seems to be stronger and stronger. What a scandal for the world, which is desperately looking for peace and unity. May the Lord, through their sacrifice, and our humble prayers grant us mutual respect and brotherly love.
let us pray together the liturgy of the sacred heart of Jesus, particularly in this month of June. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. God, our Father in heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, Son of the Eternal Father, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, formed by the Holy Spirit in the womb of the Virgin Mary, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, one with the Eternal Word, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, infinite in majesty, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, holy temple of God, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, tabernacle of the Most High, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, house of God and gate of heaven, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, aflame with love for us, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, source of justice and love, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, full of goodness and love, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, wellspring of all virtue, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, worthy of all praise, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, King and Centre of all hearts, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, King, treasure house of wisdom and knowledge, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, in whom thou dwells the fullness of God, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, in whom the Father is well pleased, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, from whose fullness we have all received, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, desire of the eternal hills, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, patient and full of mercy, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, generous to all who turn to you, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, fountain of life and holiness, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, atonement for our sins. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, overwhelmed with insults. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, broken for our sins. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, obedient even to death. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, pierced by a lance. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, source of all consolation, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, our life and resurrection, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, our peace and reconciliation, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, victim of our sins, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, salvation of all who trust in you, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, hope of all who die in you, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, the light of all the saints, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Jesus, gentle and humble of heart, touch our hearts and make them like your own. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who glory in the heart of your beloved Son and recall the wonders of his love for us may be made worthy to receive an overflowing measure of grace from that fount of heavenly gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Blessed be God, blessed be his holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be his most sacred heart, blessed be his most precious blood, blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar, blessed be the Holy Spirit of the Paraclete. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God, in his angels and in his saints. Come. 
comfort martyrs supernos misericordia eius, et veritas domini maniet in etano. Gloria Patri et Filio, et Spiritui Sancto, sicuterat in principio, et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. Adoremus in eternum sanctissimum sacramentum. Oh, no. 